Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing off some of my workshop designs, specifically some of my, the ones that I've been posting online and also, you know, some of the other ones I've got. As you can see, I have loads, but I'm only going to be showing off my favorites because lots of them are prototypes just showing things off. Such as this one. Now this is a massive boat. As you can probably guess. Now, this thing is my giant artillery platform. Now, it's very, very, very powerful. It also demonstrates one of the weapons that I you may see in the workshop. The nuke gun. Basically, many people have been building these, but I was the first. I was the first person to do this. Basically, maximum rage cram cannons with loads, loads of loads of ammo, loads of stuff. And in addition to that, on top of it, there's a quad laser system. Quad lasers. The best kind of lasers. Also, most powerful broadside you've ever seen. And a rapid fire cruise missile launcher to take out aircraft. So basically, if you need something dead, use this. It does also have a beam rider laser system as well. Because who doesn't? Now this is just to show how overpowered the cram cannons are. And of course, as you can see, the missiles themselves are, even though they're weak individually, they are pretty strong if they get to their targets, which I think they will. I think those cannon shells are about to hit. That's gonna be a fun five seconds. You can see the lasers have already started destroying everything. I'm not very good at lasers, but I'm okay. And this is the part, this is just where everything dies. Well, it's not where everything dies, just as much as it is. Just all of the hull just gets destroyed, because that's what my, ha my cannon broadside is good for. Yeah, like you can see, ammo storage blew up, engines destroyed. That entire side of the hull is now unusable. The entire broad side has been rendered useless. I mean, but now the main guns are firing, which they're just gonna kill it instantly because that's what they are, vicious, vicious guns. Well, if they hit, which they won't. But yeah, that one might, but those, those are just There's the, there goes the ship, what's left of it. Yeah, like, remember when that was a ship and not some wreckage? <sighs> but so yes, they do have this in several other forms that you may be a bit more familiar with. I'm going to show them off. I'm not going to test them because I've already sort of tested them with this modified turret, but I do have several other forms of these massive cram cannons, which are pretty powerful. I mean, they, they're they immune to shield. Oh, there goes some lag. Ooh, lag, please. I do not need that. Also, has anyone noticed how close my boat is? Jeez. Just turn it. Yeah, it doesn't move very fast, actually, if you may have noticed. It's a real, very big, slow, slow-moving vessel. But I think the movement is mostly because of the recoil, if nothing else. Yeah, it looks to be a the recoil. So yes, we also have several other types of high power firepower weapons. 
My current one is the Omega Nuke gun. I've been building that one. As you can see, it it is the turret that the it it was what this turret over here is based upon. Now it's pretty powerful and massive, but it was actually it itself is actually based upon another turret of mine, which I will load over here. The original nuke gun. Now this was my first prototype. When I first bought, when I first, you know, when the update first came out, this is what I made. As you can see, it's just the bottom half of that cannon. Of course, it's, as you can see, it's very prototype. All early in construction. I'm just gonna use the menu to now I also, I've built very, very powerful missile stuff, but I'm going to show that later because it's very, very laggy. And I've also tried to be, like, mobilizing these things because, as you can see, these things aren't very fast. If anything with lasers comes around, they just die. So I built something else, something new. Where is it? Here it is. It's basically an attack gunship, which I've mounted lighter versions of the nuke gun onto, smaller nuke guns, if you will. Now these things are very, very fun, as you can see the, not a lag, because these things are all massive designs, but these things do actually work very well because they never get hit due to their high op op operating altitude and high speed. They also tend to be quite accurate, I've noticed, even at these speeds, so they're actually really useful. They also have, being that there's five different nuke guns, they don't have to worry about someone sniping the turret and it getting destroyed. A major benefit over the other nuke guns, which risk pose a great risk, especially this one due to its modified design, which was directly as a result of the broadside that I added, the massive, massive broadside, which could actually be further, further enlarged, so you could have even more of those on there. Now, of course, they also, I've built several other jets, but... Where's my other, um, I know I had another, um, vehicle, ah, here it was. This was the original version of that. This is sort of a heavier design for those people who just want, like, a slower gunship device. This is my heavier version. It does have some light guns on it, but they don't really... They're really just decoys. They sort of intimidate. They don't really... They're really just for more like shooting exposed ammo and stuff like that. That's their job. They just shoot exposed ammo and basically keep the target from regenerating. The big guns in the front and the back and the sides do most of the damage. Now it is a lot slower than the other one, so it also has a bit of an issue with turning. I still need to work it out. Still a few kinks, but it is actually quite impressively flying. It also has a missile launcher for aircraft, but it does fly quite nicely. Now I'm gonna delete all these because to finish off the video, I mean, I have something quite amazing and it's quite powerful and by powerful I mean laggy well and also destructive but it the fact it may crash my computer but I'm pretty sure at least one of your you fans out there probably have at least one computer that can handle this 
Yes, my computer is actually lagging out right now. Like, severely. Whoops. Bad. Alright. So now, I shall show you the lackiest, most powerful vehicle I have. Well, one of them, anyways. In fact, I'll show you both if I can. They're both, like, insanely laggy. Say hello to the Meteor Missile Launcher. The most powerful of all missiles. Very, very laggy. It's, you, it's still loading. But the rewards are worth it. I know, 800,000 metal. Good luck getting that. But almost 900,000 metal. 93,000 oil. Yeah, very, very expensive. Very expensive. I think that's actually my game crashing. Yes. There it is. Very... Well, I think my computer's... Yeah!